Hello everyone, welcome back. Oracle Integration Cloud Interview Questions. Beginners to experts. Question number from six to 10. We have already covered one to five in our previous video. And in this video, let us look into six to 10. So what are the products within OIC? Mainly we can say ICS means integration cloud service, PCS means process cloud service, and VBCS, visual builder cloud service. We can also say insights and SFTP. But these are the three main products within OIC, ICS, PCS, VBCS. So let us look into the next question. What is integration in OIC? Oracle integration is a complete secure integration solution that enables you to integrate your applications and services in the cloud as well as on-premise. Integrations are main ingredient of Oracle integration because initially this is I mean, Oracle provided this platform is to implement integrations. And an integration includes at least a trigger connection, means source connection. So that your other OIC integrations or any third party integrations can trigger your OIC integration and invoke, means target connection. Because you know any you can trigger your any other OIC integration or you can trigger means you can you can invoke any other third party applications. And a mapper between these two connections is called an integration. So what is process in OIC? PCS offers rapid design automate and manage business processes means workflows in the cloud so best example for this is let's say you want to apply for a leave and you just open a web application and you enter your leave application details and you submit it once you submit it that should go to your manager for your approval sorry for the approvals if all looks good you'll approve if Otherwise, you'll reject. Let's say you rejected it, and that should again come back to you. And if anything need, needs to be updated, you will update it and resubmit it. And this time, let's say everything looks good for your manager, and then he approved it. So once that is approved, requirement is to send email notifications to your team. So this is what the requirement is. So this can be implemented by the PCS without you know ma uh, human intervention except these approvals. They can just directly approve from the email or by the application, but that this you know your manager or someone is to review it and approve it. But otherwise, everything needs to be taken care by the process. So this type of workflows can be designed in OIC by using processes. Okay. So what is Visual Builder in OIC? Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service, means VBCS, is a visual development tool for creating web and mobile applications by simply dragging and dropping user interface components onto a page. OK, so let's say you want to build a leave application web page. Okay, so in that what all fields that we needed at least a from date to date means you know from what date to what date you want to apply for leave. And what is that leave type whether it is casually or sickly we need to select. So at least this and a submit button. So these fields are required. Okay. 
So in this case, you just go to your visual builder and you can drag and drop your you know, uh, drop downs and text boxes from your um, uh, visual builder tool and just you can drag a button, submit button and you can save it. That works. Just, you know, few configurations are required, but you know, that, that is very quick thing. And that can be opened in a, your mobile application and also in a web, uh, web page from your laptop. Okay. So this type of web applications can be developed using Visual Builder in OIC. Visual Builder, visual development tool for creating a web and mobile applications by simply dragging and dropping user interface components onto a page. Okay. What is Insight in YC? Insight in Oracle integration provides tools to model, collect, and monitor metrics for business processes in real time. Insights provides a web-based interface to model a business process, including milestones and indicators defined to extract specific metrics. This is confusing, I know. But if you look into the next screen, where I have a image, you can understand this. See this, let's say you have an order management integration. Let's say integration. So there you have created an insight with order number and also with the order status, okay? So in that case, you want to see how many orders got created and what is that order and also what is the status of that order. So when you go into this dashboard, you can clearly see when you have insights created for your order management integration, you can see you no know, order created. 523 orders got created and you know, uh, how many orders got approved and how many orders got rejected and how many orders got errored out, you can see all of the details. Same like that, you can see here, you know, for customer integration they have, and for trade up, trade integrations they have, see here, trade rejected and 62 trades rejected and 439 trades got approved. So you can see like this when you have insights, you can, you know, verify these details very quickly from the dashboard. That is the advantage of insight. Thank you very much. Let us continue the next video and good luck.